Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for my finished 19 in 2019. This is a project that I started in January where I chose 9 beauty items and 10 makeup items or the other way around. I really can't remember but I wanted to do half half kind of. As of right now I have 5 items left and I will show you guys them. I don't have an empty for this update but I have really good progress if I should say so myself. Let's take the most exciting item and that is, uh, well, makeup is the most exciting items to use up in my opinion, but I made really nice progress on this one. This is a Nivea in shower body lotion and this thing is amazing if you don't know about it already. If you are not doing the cruelty free journey, you know, this is a really, really nice item because if you don't like body lotion in general to put it on after the shower, this is really, really great because you can apply this in the shower and it sinks in immediately when it touches the skin and you are not sticky or anything afterwards when you have washed it off in the shower so this is just amazing this is the big bottle with 400 milliliters i love this thing so much i haven't been the best about using this product in the first half of the year but this time I made killer progress, you know, I went from there to here. I'm really proud of myself, so that's not it's not going to be a problem to use this up by the next time or even by the end of the month. So I'm really, really excited about this item because it's not cruelty free, so yeah, that's, that's just exciting. But I'm going to miss this kind of product because I'm sometimes lazy and I have used this instead of the body lotion and yeah, I, I'm I'm going to be better at the, uh, the body lotion because I don't, I can't buy this thing anymore, and I don't know any brands that do this type of product. So if you know a cruelty-free brand that does this, please let me know. So the last beauty product I have in this project is a hand cream from the Body Shop. It is the uh, Nail and Hand Cream with Almond scent. Um, I departed it into this container because the packaging broke on me and I will insert the picture here of what it looked like last time and since then I have added in another hand cream because that packaging broke so it's not mixed together but it's kind of separate you know what I mean so I would like to finish them both but it is the bottom half that are in this project if I finish both fine I'm not the best at using hand cream up apparently so this is where I am now before it skews together and I will insert the picture that I just took before this update. As you can see I have made a little bit of progress since I took the picture and that was like a week or two ago maybe I've used it. I, I don't know how many times I've used it. I'm using it. It's fine. I'm using it up. But it goes so slow. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not good at that. And it was really really sad about the hand cream that broke on me a few weeks ago because it was a smaller size that I could have in my handbag. But um, my cat got a hold of it and he has a very sharp t teeth. He thought it would be a good idea to chew on it. So it got a hole and then I just had to depot it basically. Sad but... I can't do anything about that. <laughs> the last three items are mega products and two of them I am going to mark on my paper but, but the one I'm not going to mark is actually my Franken highlighter. I Franken the highlighter that I put in this with a, a mixture of a little bit of a more cool tone highlighter. Uh, the MDK highlighter that I put in this project was a little bit too dark for me and too gold. It worked. But when I needed to repress it, I just pressed it in with a lighter highlighter. Um, and I actually think I forgot to show you guys this highlighter last update. This is maybe two months of progress, maybe. But this is the state of my highlighter right now. I am working on this bit down here, as you can see from the photos. I think I'm making great progress. Hopefully I can finish it by the end of the year, but it doesn't go very fast. and. As you know, you don't need a lot of highlighter when you only highlight your cheekbones and your nose and cubic bow, you know. Um, I have it on today. I absolutely love it. I love it. <laughs> and it has been on my skin for four hours now. So I think it's really, really glowy and beautiful.
Then we have my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. This is how tiny it is right now. You know, this is the dirty part. So I think I'm making really nice progress on this. Can I finish it? I don't know because I measure it from this line right there and up to the top. That is how much progress I have made since the last update. It doesn't go very fast when you only use it on your eyelid and it's mostly just where the shimmer shade out slowly but steady so maybe i can finish it maybe i can't <laughs> um i don't think i can to be completely honest then we have an eyeliner it is a p2 coal eyeliner in oh i forgot my setting spray i will show you that in a minute impressive olivia it's like a burgundy purple shade but it is quite dark when you put it on your lash line it just gives a hint of burning the purple tones so yeah that's that and it does have a smudger on the end so I only so I mark it from the silver and up let's see how far how long it goes down but that's how I measure it you would think I was better at using this but I, I'm I'm really not <laughs> it doesn't go very fast because it's a little bit dry, not entirely, but a little bit. So that is my progress. Not a lot, but I have been... I am panning three eyeliners right now, and I'm not very good at going through eyeliner, so that is not a smart move for me. Um, I'm panning a burgundy, a brown, and then a gel black eyeliner. I have the black on today. Uh, I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do, because I've tried to pan this for two years now. One one and a half year but I'll go get my setting spray and then I'm actually done showing you the products I have in this project so I actually have six items in this project left but I'm not done with the setting spray just so you know Okay, um, I have no idea what happened because uh, I just shined my light through and it is over the line that I drew last time. So maybe my markings are wrong because I have used this a lot. I did bring this with me to London, England and I did use it every single day. And I have for the past few weeks when I got home when I did my makeup. I think I marked it wrong. So it is at that line right there and a little bit uh, over. <laughs> um, that's not very motivating. Okay, uh, it's the Rimmel London it's the Fix and Go Two in One Primer and Setting Spray. I like this a lot. It hasn't. It doesn't have the finest mist in the world. It's fine. You can deal with it. It is fine. So yeah, uh, I will try to be better at marking this for the next time. I update you guys for sure <laughs> so that is everything for this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a like subscribe down below if you're new here i would love for you to stick around i do a lot of project panning empties palette bingos and so on if you have any ideas for a video please let me know down below and until my next video please take care